welcome to Live Action Star Wars Presents, a bonus episode. Uh, it's been a while since we've done one of these, and I have been talking about a particular card game for quite a while. So finally, after a few delays and rearranging schedules and everything, I am here to talk about it. Uh, but I'm not going to do it alone, because joining me at the last minute is Ralph. <laughs> hey, Ralph. I showed up. <laughs> Um, I, I was texting with Ralph earlier on. We didn't know if he was going to be here or not, but here's Ralph, everybody. Um, I wasn't going to be doing this just on my own, even if Ralph didn't turn up, though, because <laughs> the advertised guest of this one is... Hey! There How's is. everybody doing? Great. How you doing, Ed? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm go I've, got my, I've got my fennel and licorice tea, so I'm, I'm feeling good. <laughs> Two flavours. It brings the British out of this half British, half American podcast. Oh yeah, um, I, I'm pretty sure they have good stuff to drink over there. <laughs> oh, don't <laughs> worry, I've also got tap water as well. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't trust your tap water. Fennel um, and, and licorice. Fennel and Isn't licorice. Those things don't seem like they go together. Uh, they sure. Fuck the episode. Let's just dissect Ed's drinks. <laughs> Oh man, yeah, I've got I've got some some interesting. I can't even talk. I got some interesting teas going on. Um, Ralph, it's been a while since I spoke to you. How are you doing? Fine, tired. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. I think you're probably yeah. quite tired at the moment. Um, I wasn't. I wasn't gonna be here today because we were gonna be out shooting a, a special segment for the movie, and my brain is so fried. Uh, that's next Tuesday, not today. <laughs> so. But How is all that great. going? I mean, I mean, as good as it can go. <laughs> wow. I, I mean, mean the, I, the Instagram is just every time I see someone new pop up, I'm like, we have a couple people that we haven't posted yet. One of them, we may be waiting for a press release to do so. Oh, um, okay. And then we had uh, last Monday, we we're supposed to shoot one. Uh, the plans fell through last minute. So we're doing that, I think, in April. Um, mm. But I mean, that's going to be as, <laughs> as, as top of the food chain as you can get. God, you're it's teasing. It's <laughs> I mean, I mean, yeah. tangentially involved. In action. Um, oh. Only the action bit, not not the live or the wars or the star. Um <laughs> We're, we're doing a regular episode tomorrow, so Ralph and I can, can talk about Star yeah. Wars stuff all day tomorrow. And yeah, let's talk about trading cards. Yeah, the reason that we've got Ed on is because Ed is um, my my like best friend for gaming in particular. Like in, in most things, he's one of my best friends. But, you know, games in particular, um, he knows everything. Ed is the sort of guy who will take a rule book to bed to read at night because it excites him. Oh, I started. I got a new thing on my phone where I've got a, a folder of notes where, when I start uh, reading a rulebook for a game, I'll start like drafting out the teach for it, so that it's so much easier for me to teach other people because I can put the rules in a digestible order. Uh, he's the he's the best friend to have if you like games because you never have to bother learning it because he'll teach it to you, and he does it well and as I, well. That might be perfect because I know less about games than I do books. <laughs> oh, nice yeah but you play you play a game every week so almost every week it's a i mean it's it's yeah, essentially yeah, yeah. glorified shoots and ladders i don't know if you <laughs> had shoots and ladders over there it's, it's, <laughs> yeah it's, yeah it's fun um all right so this is a new type of game for me i've never played trading card games before um you're talking your magic the gatherings pokemon Yu Gi Oh, all that sort of game like you buy packs of cards, you rip them open, you look through what you got, you go, that was trash, that one's worth loads of money, that one plays in the game well. I never have played that game. I've sold lots of that type of game when I was working at the comic book shop, but the yeah. people that were buying that game kind of put me off ever being interested in playing that sort of game. Uh, not to overgeneralize, it was a different time. I think there's a lot broader of an audience for them now. Um, Ed, what the, is that's the thing. There's there's is, so is much more of a range of games now, mm. um, which draw such a huge crowd. Uh, back in the times when you were in the shop, it was not a subculture, but it was very much um, 
like underplayed. But games in general were like on the come up as I was leaving. like board games mm. and card games and all that. Like it, it was starting to take off around when I was leaving the shop. A lot of the comic book shops in my area would do like Saturday and Sunday set up card tables and people would just come and play mm -hmm. games. Yeah, yeah that's, that's what we ended up doing. Like because Magic in particular, uh, our shop, like it got quite a big audience and people used to play it all the time. Um, but last year, I think it was announced probably around this time last year. But then as the hype was building for it, like near the end of last year, they were talking about this game Star Wars Unlimited from Fantasy Flight Games. And I started watching some of the stuff about it, reading some of the bits and bobs. And I was like, fuck, they've got me. They've got me already because it looked fun. It sounded fun. The idea of breaking open packs of cards and just rifling through and seeing what you got was really interesting. Then there was a, uh, like, it's a free to play version of it against AI. So it's you against AI. Uh, someone has built it using all the cards called Force Table. Um, and I played that. And it was what made me go, okay, I enjoy playing this game. So when pre-orders went up, I, I pre-ordered a bunch and I have since bought more. Uh, and I'm I'm in. I've I've been in the last week since well, the last sort of two weeks since they've been doing pre-releases and now regular weekly events. I've been to three events in two weeks and I, I'm into it. It's a fun game. But the most fun part for me is breaking open packs and opening them, seeing what you got. So while we talk about this game, I have a box. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> um, okay, okay. <laughs> so we are going to bust open a box <clears throat> of cards, and I'm going to see what we got. Okay, uh, how many packs are in uh, a, a case of boosters? Oh, uh, in, a, in a booster box like this. Oh, sorry, uh, box, 20, yeah, yeah. 20, 24 packs. Each pack has 16 cards. So you, 16? You Ooh, yeah. 16. That's so in, in every pack, the, the way the packs break down, well, I can get through the cellophane here, which is branded cellophane, I guess, to sort of help pirates. Well, this, there's a lot of piracy in this sort of game, isn't there? Probably. This this is to. one of... Yeah, there's, I mean, Bosks in it, uh, Greedos in it. Um, so the, the... Comedy. Yeah. The, um, <laughs> uh, one of the things with this, uh, as opposed to the other big three trading cards games like Magic and Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh! is um, the booster packs are in paper yeah. um, packs. It's like a wax. It's a waxy sort of paper. Um, yeah. So it's all, it's really all cool. recyclable, isn't it? And, um, and even the... In fact, fuck, why am I doing it there? I can just do it here. I've got a second camera set up, everybody. I'm trying to be really pro with this. <laughs> um, so yeah, we wow. can do that. And then if we do... You want to do the... That we do that big, big telly. That one work? Yeah, yeah. yeah cool. Um, so the barcode's got Luke uh looking out over the twin sons and everything like that. Um, really nice. It's yeah. There's just a feel about them. The tactile sort of feel about these packs is cool. But um, apparently, then, yeah. That's I don't know if it's going to focus particularly well because if you could see this whole setup that I've got to do this, it's not great. Um, <laughs> but yeah, each pack uh contains. 16 cards, including approximately one leader, one base, nine commons, three uncommons, one rare or legendary, and one premium foil. So you get a shiny one in every pack, which is nice. What are we looking at here? Is this like a, a felt mat? That so I, I, yeah, uh, this is the lid of the expensive deck box okay. that you can get. Uh, it's all sort of magnetized. When we're when I'm done opening packs, I'll sort of pull the camera out a bit and I'll show it off a little bit. But magnetized boxes are the coolest mm. it is and uh, oh, these yeah, ones yeah, are yeah. really cool so you've got your leader oh, card that you can have in like a, a hard case in the front and then it like flips down and you've got your your deck that's of amazing. cards that you want to play with it's like inspector gadgets but that's amazing <laughs> so um, and... yeah yeah there's like a draw for tokens and things like that it's so fucking nerdy like literally did, it, did, it, was... did that set come with like a special card no no, God, no. Oh, it just, just came with a, a, a higher price. Um, <laughs> I feel like that would have been a good incentive, though, right? Yeah, get, Put in get a card that you can only get with that. that. Yeah, so, uh, I feel like you awesome. stop doing that, you stop annoying people, though. How many decks can fit in it? Is it just a one deck box, or is it a couple? I think you could probably fit a couple of decks in there. 
Um, right. So a deck of cards to play the game is 50. It's a 50 card minimum deck. Um, oh, I've got a good card right from the jump on this one. Um, yeah, 50 cards to play the game. Uh, you need one base, and it's your base is what you're attacking. So the base that I just drew there is Command Center. Um, it's got 30 health that you can see up there. It's got some flavor text. This one doesn't have any special abilities or anything, but the, the green is the, like, the aspect color. Um, Ed, how, why don't you... So, Go on. How many individual cards are there? This first set, uh, two hundred and fifty like something. Yeah, that sounds about so, right. So, so artists had to like do two hundred and fifty-seven. Mm -hmm. Like, what? Well, so, more th as as I understand trading cards, um, normally they will work at least three sets. So, like a year's worth of of stuff will wow. be finalized before the first stuff comes out. So, they have. They've announced the first three sets. There's this one is Spark of Rebellion, and it's all themed around sort of what? original trilogy, uh, yeah. uh, rebels, uh, Cl uh, not Clone Wars. Like there's, it's there's odd mostly cards, New Hope other. and yeah. either side sort of thing. A mm -hmm. um, little bit of Empire. There's some some Rogue One. There's about. Rogue One, Rogue One Rebels, sort of that. that yeah, what you'd expect. Um, then. The second, I've forgotten what the names of them are. Second set is like uh, the Shadow of the Galaxy or something like that. Yeah. And that is, I don't know if you've seen the leak key stuff. Art, like the, the key um, art, they've announced like the, the, so there's a two player starter set for this that is your leaders that you get in that are Luke and Vader. Mm. Um, and there's a bunch of exclusive cards that you can only get in the two player starter set. Yeah. The two player starter a... set for the second set is going to be uh, Din Djarin and Moff Gideon. I like your. Yeah. So it sounds like the, the Unlimited is really going to come into play. Oh, like, yeah. They, okay. They're so going is, all over. So, so this is along the lines of a Magic the Gathering, correct? So, yes. yes. Yeah. Okay. Is this the first time that Star Wars has done this? No, no. It's, it's <laughs> this extent. They did. They did. So um, there's a, a very well loved game from the '90s. I hear about this stuff now because I'm, oh, I'm okay. I've gone fully in. I didn't know about it. Um, <laughs> You're in the rabbit hole. But I'm I'm way 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 down the rabbit hole now. So there was a, a very popular game from the Cipher in the '90s that didn't have art. It was just all stills. Um, and that's where you know the uh, like that famous shot of the actress as Mara Jade. Right. That's from this card mm -hmm. game. No, from that okay. card game in the nineties, um, there was like a Corrin Horn. They they lent into the EU in later sets, um, and that ran up until like I want to say two thousand, two thousand one, because uh, there was some stuff from Episode One in there as well at the end. Uh, episode um, two as well. That I, I remember oh, wow. having a, um, oh god, why can't I remember her name? The uh, changing from the Zam Wessel. Like Zam Wessel, thank you. Um, having a Zam Wessel card and being like, who is this? <laughs> because oh, wow, it, was, okay. it was Changeling Face. And I was yeah. like, that's like oh. four frames of the movie. And you were about 10. <laughs> and I was about uh, 10, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Not even. Okay. Uh, you were nine, I think. And that film came Some, out. Yeah, that tracks somewhere around there. Get in the bin. Um... <laughs> Sorry, sorry no, to that, derail you. I no, need no, to have no, like so. 24 packs of 16 to open. I, I'm not, one I probably, won't, probably won't open them all. Um, <laughs> um, uh, I get to, the, I'm enhancing my, my, my body enhancement to a level two. Oh, mm -hmm. nice. Um, Ed, are you playing I, the Invincible mobile game yet? No, 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 that's good though. I feel like this is could like a card game almost. Yeah, similar to one. This might get me into the Star Wars one. I was going to say, um, the, I'll send you a link to one of the, table, right? <laughs> one of the things that okay. got like kind of sold you, James, was um, Snap, right? Marvel Snap. Marvel Snap. Yeah, Marvel yeah. Snap um, made me go, oh shit, maybe I like card games. Um, just the just I, the play of it, just the gameplay yeah, of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just the the back and forth play aspect, and then like learning that all these cards have keywords and mm. I used to see those when people were like doing shit with magic cards at the shop and I'd be like, I, this is too much. This is too Spotters. much going on. Whereas you see, you start to see like from playing Marvel snap, I see like an on attack or ongoing or on reveal and things like that. And I'm like, okay, I can get my head around it. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's good. And then, so this game came out last week, Friday. two weeks ago. 
Friday. Friday just gone. Mm. Um, but Ed and I managed to play it at a demo event, what, maybe a month ago? Something like that, yeah. And and I was already in. I was like, I just want to play this because they were giving away some exclusive promo cards if you went and played this demo. And I was like, if I get Ed to play the game one time, I know he's going to be invested and he's going to be involved. <laughs> and, like, and I was like, cool. And then I, at least if no, if I don't find like a local community that I can play with, mm -hmm. I'll always be able to play with Ed whenever he's around. Um, oh, yeah. And it worked. It worked like a charm. Um, yeah, you, 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 you hooked me. Um, yeah. But that, that's uh, one of the things with with this game that I wanted to bring up. I don't know if this is the right time to to shout about it, but um, we also we also both did pre release events for this. Yeah. Um, so as James was saying, like constructed decks have fifty cards and a leader and a base, and like you you build your deck and design it and and figure out how it plays. But the pre release was. Um, sealed which is you get six booster packs you crack them open and you have to build a deck of is it 30 from, yeah, was 30 deck. from just the cards that you get in those boosters and mm -hmm. i don't i don't know if that format works for this game okay i'd say i i heard from like veteran card players that they were they were really into it oh really okay um yeah it might just be where the game itself is so new mm. so people don't know the cards mm -hmm. um i feel like maybe if if i went in and did a sealed event now i'd have a better idea because i know what i'm looking at and i go yeah. okay cool i want i want to use that one i want, don't want to use that one that one won't work for right now yeah. um so Ralph, yeah this isn't even the first time that uh ffg have done a, a star wars card game they in what the late 2000s they when they acquired the license and started putting out all of their board games and the X-Wing miniatures game and all of those, they did a, what's called a, a living card game. So instead of buying booster packs where you don't know what you're going to get with a living card game, it's a little bit more expensive, but you buy a pack that is released on like a regular schedule every sort of two, three months or something. And you know exactly the, the cards that are in there. Uh, and, and it everyone, will be, everyone it will be very the themed, very specific, like story beats. Almost. Ed, you played a bunch of living oh, card god, games. Oh god, they you? are they're a thing. They're a whole thing. I, I'm in a love hate relationship. It's it's a toxic relationship uh, with me <laughs> and living card games because um, they they're the perfect level of um, they're they're way too expensive. They are, um, but they but they scratch that just what just a little bit more itch like you you need to the completionist side of you like that it unlocks that bit in your brain where it's like yeah you need every every but character that's, every that's what i found with uh the lcgs because i've played a couple of them with you normally mm. um and ffg's ones generally well, the ones that i played they started doing as co-op which i liked so they would mm. play kind of like a uh, board yeah. game. Uh, Lucha Johnny pointing out L5R there, yeah, Legend of Five Rings. That was a very popular one. Um, that was Fantasy Flight as well, wasn't it? Yeah, that was. Um, and I think they've relaunched it now as a different type of game. That's a that's a a, a brand that FFG have sort of always wanted to do more with, and it's it's had a very loyal fan base, but never a massive fan base. I think from what yeah. I can gather. Um, um, yeah, it's it's. It's one of those settings that's been really interesting to me, but I've always, I've never had that in. I know I, I, a couple of my friends are super into it. Like they, they're big proponents of. Um, there's a LARP that they go to, like a live action role play, which is very uh, Legend of the Five Rings inspired. Okay. Uh, which look looks incredible. Um, I was gonna say but... that feels like a bit cultural appropriation y for a bunch of. <laughs> White larpers dressing up like samurai it feels a bit like Tom Cruise would be involved. But is it uh, if it's a fantasy world that's inspired by those cultures? Okay, yeah, I, I mean, I, yeah, I, I, yeah. I, yeah I it's, it's, I mean, Avatar is basically that, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Or, um, or yeah, sorry, carry on. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no you oh, carry on. Sab Sabine, this. So Ooh. Sabine, I've, I, this is my favorite leader. So the way the game works is you've got your base, as I showed off there, and you've got your leader card. Mm -hmm. And so your leader card, when it starts the game, is this way around, and it's got an action that it can do, 
doesn't have health, it doesn't do regular damage, it's just got an ability. When you always got, hanging out, ready to always ready just to, hanging out. When yeah. uh when you've got your the certain number of resources that you gain each turn and various different ways, normally you're putting down one of your cards as a resource. Uh, other cards will let you use them as a resource. When you've got the the said number, you can deploy it as a unit where it flips over and it comes out as a unit like all the other ones that I've shown off from that first pack. Um, and then generally the ability that it has is like a more powerful version or a more useful version mm. of its Or a more one. specific version. Like yeah. some yeah. of them become like hyper focused in one particular area mm -hmm. once they're on the field yeah uh Iden versio from battlefront yeah, yeah, 2 yeah, yeah. she's like that um and then they've got an attack value and a, a defense value like their their health essentially mm -hmm. at that point and then when the leader is defeated instead of going into your discard pile it just flips back over and is still yeah. usable like that but you can't ever bring it back out as uh the unit again um every epic action is a, a once and there are some bases that also have an epic action. Um, so just to give you like a bit of an anatomy of a pack, that was that was the first pack that I showed off. And then I just started opening that second pack, which is where Sabine came from. Because the leader that I got from the first pack was a hyperspace card. So mm -hmm. most, most cards are that sort of look. They've got a black border around them. The rares and legendaries have a little foil thing in the bottom just to show that they're rare or legendary um uh, yeah i didn't notice that that's fun yeah um but then the the way that they do like alternate arts in this game is they do these hyperspace cards where they're sort of borderless they've got like a, a bit of a like a hyperspace like white lines coming out of it um and then yeah it's just sort of extended versions of the art and they look great they look they, really really nice they they're unreasonable how pretty they are like um yeah let me let me find i've got uh, a couple of cards which uh, I've got in regular frame and also in hyperspace. Let me just find one. So, like, you can see them. Mm -hmm. um, so, like, the difference in... Where am I going? In the framing. I can, I can do this. There we Ooh. go. Oh, yeah. There you go. That's perfect. Oh, yeah. That's, that's... So, it's, it's the way that it's laid out. It's just... It's idea it's yeah. i i really like it um and it, and it just pops so much more mm -hmm. and every single card in the set has a hyperspace variant which will yeah. just turn up at random at some point in in a booster pack um yeah i can't and, remember what they said the odds were it's something like there's there's two in every three packs something like um, that yeah like some, never yeah. never tell me <laughs> never, never, never yeah exactly there's right a card on. there's a card for that um, yeah, yeah. The, the ones on Hoth, Ooh. all the hyperspace Ooh. cards on Hoth look particularly good because the Hoth base, the like, yeah, the, the Hoth base hyperspace, all, all the bases in hyperspace look beautiful. But um, and then, as I said, every pack comes with a, a foil oh. card, um, so you got like a shiny one. And some of these you can get a hyperspace, yeah, foil. So this is, this, there's this one, this one is hyperspace there you go. foil, yeah. If we put Ed in, there you go. Ooh. Soup Yoda. Nice. I got it so really many makes, Soup Yodas. <laughs> it makes Yoda look 3D. It looks like he's sort mm -hmm. of lenticular. Almost. I thought it looked 3D, yeah. Yeah. Um, it's cool. It's very cool. Are there any, like, all of the foils that I've got are just like a matte foil effect over the whole card. Are there any that have, like, um, foil background with, with a matte sort of character image or... I or like so, fun foil effects. Not that I've seen. Not that I've seen. Uh, I don't think so. I think they are pretty basic. Yeah. Um, that Lando's should, office. That is yeah. Lando's office. Uh, yeah, it's it's the administrator. Can imagine what that would look like. Yeah. The interior. Oh, that'd be great. Did everyone see what Donald Glover was wearing at the Oscars the other night? He looked great, and that mustache it made me go, "Oh shit, are they actually shooting something that we don't know about?" Um, uh, maybe speaking of Lando's office, this guy just just rocks up as I was fanning through my cards. <laughs> it's just the, I had no choice. So yeah, you've got the the different types of cards that you have are units uh, like DJ Death Star. <laughs> here, yeah. um, uh, you've got units, events, and upgrades. So one of the cards that I showed off on that first pack was an upgrade. Is there something is there something that you're looking for to get in this gigantic pack? Like 
So, Ed, why don't you explain Ooh. the showcase cards while I so, my cards? <laughs> uh, I know we're just joking about never tell me the odds, but the odds of getting a sh so showcase cards are only the leaders. Um, and there are what 12? I can't remember exactly how many leaders there are across the I set. Think it's 12. I think it's somewhere 12. around there. Um, and the showcase versions of those are full art. Um, so like the hyperspace, there's there's no framing on them at all, but they're also alternate art. Um, oh. and they are like unreasonably pretty, <laughs> is the best they're way that I can put them. really so, nice. So um, for like, are you guaranteed one of those in a box? No. Wow. no. There's, okay, there's so we're one, excited. There's, I think there's one in each case. Is that right? Yeah. I can't remember. And, and, a, and a, 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 case a case is 12 boxes. Yeah. Okay. So what's, what's 12 so, times? Yeah, it's, it's one, in, 24. one in 12 in a box. Yeah. Um. But they are like the 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 hotness for so people so grab have, packs at the moment at, at the so moment you have a protective you have like like a clear protective thing like a hard shell yeah. oh yeah, yeah yeah um when i was playing the pre-release a guy next to me pulled a showcase palpatine mm. uh and yeah you sent me a picture and it was like yeah <laughs> he instantly like boxed that thing up uh didn't mm. dare play with it or anything like that put um, it through the laminator <laughs> yeah, just like rips it up. Cool like, don't want that card. Yeah, the card and, and, is really because the the uh, card is like black. It's it's on. Yeah. it's him on his throne on it's the second on the Death throne. Star, um, and it looks so good. And the game is brand new, so card prices are at a high. They're, they're whack. They're whack at like, the moment, and and they haven't sort of settled down yet. But the the good thing about this game is that there is a lot of stock. There is they like they've made sure that there is plenty of it. Uh the what was the Disney game? The Disney card game. Uh, Lorcana. Um, Lorcana. So it's for mm -hmm. Disney adults basically. Mm -hmm. Um and the problem that they had with that is there was no stock for it. Everyone wanted it. All the Disney adults wanted it and no one could get it. So prices for that went through the roof real yeah. fast. Um that's balanced was, out quite a lot now. I was going to say, I was walking around Sainsbury's, like a supermarket the other day, and I saw packs of that. So I was like, yeah, mm. this, it's around now. Um, the, um, but for now, with this, with this, the game is out, but it's so new that people are speculating and they're putting some of these showcases up for 500, 600 pounds yeah, for one card. It's crazy. I think the lowest price I've seen is like $300. Okay. So. And are they all character cards? So they're the the leaders. So there's the two it's different the two versions fighters. of the leaders. You got so the lance. Is there a, is there a the showcase? Leaders. Is there a showcase card of wedge? There is not. not yet. No, not but yet. they're they're almost like definitely will be at one. some point. But yeah. so far, I've opened four packs, and I got that Sabine that we saw, mm -hmm. uh, and then in the first pack, I got the hyperspace gin. But then in the other two packs, I just got the regular oh, okay. card. <laughs> so you know, you're gonna get like you get a leader in every pack, you get a base in every pack. Yeah. Um, but there's only 12 of them, so you're going to see some repeats. See dupes, right. yeah. But I think Lorcan is a really good frame of reference to what we can expect from this game in the short term, because mm -hmm. Lorcan has just hit a year. Ooh, like, okay. its third set has, has literally just come out like a month ago. Um, and that tends to be a good spot for when you can really get a feel for what a card game feels like. Right, um, and I say that as someone who uh, has oh. never gone like well, super hard good. into trading cards. Oh, hello! Uh, so, um, Jedi lightsaber is uh, a, a great little upgrade card. So the the card type is up here. Um, you can attach it to any non vehicle unit if attached to a force unit. So they've all got uh, like a keyword keywords. If it was a force unit, it would say force here. Yeah. Um, if it's attached to a force unit, this unit gains on on attack. Give the defeat to uh, give the defender minus two, minus two for this phase. So oh, if you wow. put that on the right thing and it attacks something that only has two health, it's instantly dead before you even have to attack it. Mm -hmm. Um, and then the foil that I got in that pack is very nice because uh, it is a legendary, and it is a legendary foil force lightning. Oh. 
um, which has a lot of text in it that I can't be bothered to read. But it's an event, and if I remember rightly, the gist of it is if you attach it or if you use it with a, a, a force user, so like Palpatine, for instance, as the art is showing, you can essentially pay over its cost to deal that much damage like with no limits um mm. so you can wipe out real beefy Jeez. units yeah um, and yeah and it's a, a foil so a foil legendary is quite nice i don't think i've got one of those yet uh my only legendary from the pre-release was a was a uh was a foil and it was the vigilance card and it's, oh nice it's, it's, it's tucked in ah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's in, my, it's in one of my little sleeves. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so from from playing this game, uh, some of the some of the cards that I've been playing with, I've I've had to sleeve up as well because you start playing this game and you kind of are shunned a little bit Ooh. at um, at events if you don't have sleeved cards because you're having to shuffle <laughs> these things quite a lot. Yeah, and you oh. don't want them getting damaged, yeah. and it's it's mostly just for ease of shuffling than. Mm. It's so much easier to shuffle. Yeah, uh, it was it was you that got me onto the sleeve game, Ed. Uh, before that, I, I was like, "Fuck it, things are meant to be yeah. played with." I I stand by not sleeving stuff unless I'm playing with it. Like Definitely. like my collection is just loose and, and yeah. I I've there, only but... I've only put the ones that I'm like playing with in it. I'm the same way. <laughs> I only <laughs> sleeve up if I'm going to play with it. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> um yeah there's no good way of saying it is there uh so you got Hera Hera is a nice leader Ooh. there uh she's got a I really, really like specific... so um. I do too a lot of people have been hit and miss with the art um I'm hoping that we get the Han Solo leader mostly because I don't have one yet and mm. also it's the most divisive art in the it's, game um uh my kid's seven and he's got a five minute bedtime stories uh, book like Star Wars stories, five minute bedtime stories. Yeah, I explained that really poorly, but uh, but yeah. I'm pretty sure that's the artist. I'm pretty sure the the artist of that book is the person who did the that okay. so Han Solo leader, or it, they are almost identical. Um, I I rate it. I think it's wicked, and, and I, I love think it's the, so much fun. Um, yeah. it reminds me of Han Solo from the animated bit in the holiday special, and mm -hmm. for that reason alone, I'm into it. I really. Oh, like there it. you go. Uh, there's Boss. There's your favorite, Ralph. Uh, I think yeah. I've got a spare one. So, you know, when I come over to LA, I'll, I'll bring you a Boss card. <laughs> <Okay. All right. laughs> but the, 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 hyperspace, the hyperspace space cards look great because it's just uh, yeah. so It just sort of extends the star field out there. Um, guys, I've got another legendary. Oh. Uh, it's not, not a foil one, but it's, it's the Avenger, oh. which is very nice. Very, it's that an is. expensive card to play. Yeah. Um, but then it's it's beefy. It's got eight. I think eight. The, the thing I like about the artwork is like with when you look at the Hera card, it doesn't look like Mary Elizabeth Winstead. It doesn't look like Rebels, the animated series. So it doesn't. I don't have any sort of like ugh. It it's, doesn't flood in any sort of memories of something I don't. But like, it's it's Hera. Reform. It's like it's it's almost yeah, Hera. Hera. I love Hera. Like, yeah, I love Hera. But it's not reminding me how I didn't like the finale of Ahsoka. Yeah. You know, it's not reminding yeah, it. me. Like, it's, it's just nice making you go, it's just oh, like, oh, it's Hera. I like Hera. Star Wars. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. almost like yeah. growing up, I was never into the EU ever. Mm -hmm. I, was, I, I read the Timothy Son uh, trilogy and then that was it. Um, I would play the video games, but I, it, it reminds me of that. Like, it's like Star Wars as a concept instead of Star Wars a specific thing, which I enjoy. Yeah. 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 I see. Um, I, was, I was really torn on the art when. <clears throat> Sorry, when uh, when I was first looking at the the uh, the leaks and the pre-releases and stuff like that, I was really torn on the art. I was like, it's not uh, like it's really dynamic and it's really colorful, but mm. it all it all has that sort of um, I, d I don't know how to describe it, but it's it's very it's a like, very mixed bag there's but, it's like a it's like dark horse comics yes yeah, like yeah it yeah. doesn't have a marvel look it doesn't have a dc mm -hmm. look like it just looks like a sort of a, 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 a not main comic book yes like that's art. exactly it yeah um, so it's, and it's, I, just I, an, it's an off it's a comic book from wish and yeah. and uh, <laughs> uh but now i i am in love with it like the artwork in this yeah. game is so pretty 
and and like I say, it's, because it's so got dynamic a bunch, and they've got and a bunch colorful, of different and, artists though. Because this yes. this card doesn't look like the other cards of space units. It's mm. I'm really enjoying it. All the artists are credited as standard on card games. Oh, that's great. Um, mm. Yeah, uh, I think except unless people spoiler. unless people hate the art and go after them on you know Twitter. Mm. Mm. I, you know, double edged yeah. sword. Yeah. So far, the community around this game seems pretty cool. Um, playing in local shops and stuff annoyingly has made me have to go back onto Facebook because they arrange a lot of stuff on like Facebook groups. So I've I've got Facebook. Don't add me. Don't try and find me. I don't want to be on Facebook, but I'm on there <laughs> just for for these groups. It just and suggested it, Liz to me uh, yesterday. Oh, really? oh, well, <laughs> probably because she just posted something. And then maybe um, probably, maybe I'll find maybe I'll find you through her because I don't know if we're Facebook friends. I think we are. I think we have been for probably it was like, like 2010. 10 years. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't go there. I don't go there. <laughs> uh, I try not to go there. And that's the only place I've seen any sort of toxicity. I saw someone asking a rules question. The game's been out for a fucking week. So a very valid thing to be asking rules questions. Right. And someone was like, well, it sounds like you just don't understand. And I was like, mm. fuck off. Like, we, we don't <laughs> want you. We don't want your kind here. Like, go away yeah. if you're going to be like that. Like, uh, Otherwise, though, in store, the first pre-release that I went to, uh, Five Realms in Pool in Dorset, um, big shout out to those guys. They were fucking great. And they were so inclusive, so welcoming. I sort of said, like, look, guys, I've never played a card game before like this. Like I've played games. I like board games and stuff like that. I kind of get, I can get my head around it and I've played some of it against AI online. So I've got a basis of knowledge, but mostly I just fucking love star Wars and I, I enjoy the, this. And you're um, trying to have fun. So just exactly everyone just try to have fun. Yeah. Um, um, and they James. were so cool and so <clears throat> welcoming that I, it, it sort of put me in a really good frame for other events i've been to uh the one that i went to that sunday was nice there were some of those people um that you don't really want to see but not many and in person they all seem mm. really nice and friendly yeah uh show the back of one of the cards show the show what the the like not not one of those ones. one of these ones the, yeah the back art over the cards so that's that's the, the standard card back yeah mm -hmm. uh the back Perfect. of as uh, yeah Nice, clean, just does what it says on the tin. Um, the back of the leaders, obviously, is the other side of that. The back of bases is different because you get a token. So the tokens are when something says give something a shield or mm. give something... Experience is the other one. I like the experience on, on the back of the standard card. It looks like a sun rising over a planet. Mm -hmm. but the flare is causing like what looks like a lightsaber lightsabers crossing and then, like, so, very, very and cool. then you've got you've got the x-wing at the top yeah. which is flying down which also looks like a lightsaber hilt because it's the the yeah. white into the blue blade it's it's beautiful so it's I, so I can nice show you, it's really I can nice show you this. so this is one of my sleeve cards this is uh, a dodonna oh. sleeve card and i got the the basic looking ones because i was like i like the card back i just kind of want the ones that have the card back on them um They've yeah, see, I, I did the same thing. I just got, I just got um, sleeves that are clear, so like, yeah. so I can see the backs because they are beautiful. The um, Do some of them have the Lucasfilm copyright on? Some don't. They the, the cards all... the cards don't, but James's sleeves, sleeves do. Oh yeah, oh, there you go. Okay, yeah. okay. Um, and then yeah, they've got the the same sleeves but in red, so it's the same look but in red. And then they just showed off for like when set two comes out in the summer. Uh, they've got a green one and a yellow one because that's the the aspects uh, yeah. for the game. So Ed, do you want to explain how the aspects work? Yeah. The, so this is this is pretty classic for um, anyone who's played Magic. I think games, we'll understand. Yeah. That. Yeah. Um, you have colors which are sort of like a shorthand for how cards play red tends to be very aggressive and it's the same in this um uh red is uh, aggression is the name of the aspect um yeah. green green tends to be big stuff uh, and again it command is the hey <laughs> um uh command is the name of the green aspect in this and it's like building yourself up to get big big hitters um 
Who we got? What we got next? Yellow. Yellow is cunning. Yep. Uh, <laughs> It's f- yellow is fear. Um, yellow is tricks, cunning and tricks and Han Solo, yeah. like sneaky boys. Uh, Han Solo, Boba Fett, they're they're both yellow mm-hmm. leaders. Jin was a a yellow. Of... Making it, it's making it easy for me because like that's Sinestro. It's... Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He's a good um, guy and he's like, hey, listen, I'm still trying to make things right, but I might not be doing it the way. Like, so far, yeah. I'm understanding the color system. Yeah, yellow is mm-hmm. lots of gotchas, lots of uh, hey. Um, and then blue is vigilance, which is uh, lots of shields protecting it's, it's, other people. It's which yeah, it's, the blue lanterns uh, protect <clears throat> green lanterns by giving them by mm-hmm. using hope and yeah. yeah. So again, it's, that's the sort of support. It's very Buffy. It's very like keep you keep you you guys alive sort of thing. Buffy's a different um, franchise, Ed. <laughs> uh, Buffy Unlimited. When um, the when uh, Joss Whedon stops being a creepy fan. <laughs> yeah. Right. Um, but then there's black and white, which are um, villainy and uh, heroism, Hero- I guess. Hero- yeah. Sure. Yeah. Um, and each of your each of the leaders that we have so far are mm-hmm. either black or white, and then one of the four colors. Um, so hero is is command and heroism. IG88 is aggression and villainy. Um, and then you pick a base, which is uh, either the same as one of the four colors or a different one and those are the three colors that you kind of build your base around so uh, your deck sorry build your deck around so this would be um uh red yellow and black deck it's kind of how but um it's unlimited right so you can you can throw any cards in if you want there's costs to it but um but generally yeah those are the three colors that you're going to be working with in, in your deck. Um, so you've got that. There's a lot of creative space to, to, to play with stuff. Yeah. Um, I don't personally, I don't know if the card pools are there to really show it off, but it is just the first set. And that's why I, that's why I think limited is the, so the sealed, the sealed draft is this not draft the sealed deck building system that we have for the pre-release um felt quite constrained in that everyone built basically the same deck in that room i Um, i was i played uh tarkin command center so tarkin is no it wasn't tarkin command center it was tarkin and then like whatever one of the red bases was so it was mm -hmm. tarkin is a command villainy leader so Green. Uh, green green black and then i used the red base so those were the, the three colors that i was building my deck around um mostly because that's what i had in the six packs that i opened um yeah the guy sat opposite me that i was playing against he had the same leader and the same base because of, of what we drew they seemed like the strongest cards to be able to play and 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 i don't think that's to the detriment because the minute to minute gameplay of of the game is really fun it's a yeah. really fun it's game quick. It's um quick. it's really quick uh it's not like um magic or Yu-Gi-Oh or pokemon where i take my whole turn then you take your whole turn it's one action at a time so it's like i play a card then you do a thing then i do a thing then you attack with one and then and it's like that back and forth that's that's a really nice uh hyperspace yeah it's cool. um but the uh, yeah that 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 back and forth makes it play so quickly and uh, especially in that pre-release because no one hugely knew what uh, what to expect. Ooh, um, another gin or so. Yeah. yeah, yeah, different one. So this is it's gin on the card, but it's an upgrade, so it can go on anyone. They're just using her as the the art for it. Yeah. Um, so that's. So that is your wedge card right there. Uh, we haven't got a wedge. I've got wedge in here somewhere. That, that, that's red three, though, right? Isn't wedge red three? Oh, come on. He's red two. Oh, yeah. Uh, right. This is Biggs, which is weird because the Biggs. the like, the like subtitle, every card's got like a subtitle. So Boba Fett's here is collecting the bounty. Um, black one, which is Poe's X-Wing, is... Scourge of Star Killer Base. Uh, Wedge is Hero of the Rebellion. I can only imagine. What is it? Uh, he is Star of the Rebellion. You fake fan. 
close enough. I mean, I'd say Hero <laughs> of the Rebellion, but you know. Uh, whereas Red 3 is unstoppable. And hmm. I think he was pretty stoppable. <laughs> I think he got stopped. That's he definitely say. got stopped. Um, it might be because of his ability and it's each other friendly heroic unit gains raid one, which essentially gives them a buff to their attack. Um, what I really like is... Uh, Talk about the packs. A, oh, oh yeah, pack. there's there's three different pack designs, isn't there? Is it it's Thrawn, Leia, and Chewie? I think. Um, and all yep. of them, yeah, all of them are pretty. Um, I haven't got a Thrawn leader yet, so I want a Thrawn leader. I want a Han Solo leader, right. and I need a Cassian Andor. They're the only three leaders that I don't have. So. <laughs> Get wrecked on. Oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, do I have? I think I've got Cassian as well. What was the other one you said you didn't have? Han, Han, uh, yeah, Han Cassian, know. and Thrawn. Yeah, no, Han. Uh, maybe I don't have Cassian. I thought I did. But I do have another Chirrut. Chirrut's cool. Chirrut's really good. Chirrut's really, really fun. Mm. Um, but yeah, it's Ooh, very. I've got a. I think I've got a hyper foil in this one. A hyperspace mm. foil card in this pack. I think I can see it. Um, I do. Ooh, it's uh, let's cut straight to that because that's very nice. Um, <laughs> I just looked up. I just looked up to see if anybody made like fan art of Thrawn Solo, and I didn't see anything. <laughs> um, it would be great. Oh wow, this is a a hell of a pack, deck. guys. Yeah. This is a really good pack. So Chirrut was the leader. Uh, Dagobah Swamp was the base. Fine, like they're both fine. That was my foil card at the back, uh, which is lovely. Um, it's an uncommon, so all their symbols are down in the bottom there. It's an uncommon, but the hyperfoil on it, it's lovely. It's a nice mm. space card, and it's a really helpful and useful card. But I'm scanning through, and I have another hyperspace card, which is Maximum Firepower, which is a great card. That is a great card. Um, and it looks great there. And then I got a third hyperspace card uh, with General Tag. Oh, <laughs> Wow. Uh, so three hyperspace cards in one pack is the first wow. time that's happened to me. Yeah, um, that's awesome. Uh, yeah. So, so I, I, I don't know if I, one. I don't know if I just wasn't paying attention or not. But do the hyperspace cards add any sort of in-game no value? Game, no in-game value. It's all just cosmetic, um, which is good. That's the Rarity. way that you want it. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah, good, good, good pack of cards though. Yeah. Anything else, anything else of note? I got a regular general tag in there as well. That was interesting. So that's that's the. I do. I thought I did. I do have a Cassian. Cassian oh, nice. leader. So there you go. There's there's the the regular and the hyperspace ones. So you can sort of see the difference. Um, right. Yeah. Cool. It's zoomed in slightly. I think the art as well. It's nice. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like I was saying back at the start um there's three three sets of this that they've planned out for the full year uh all of them are going to be 250 260 somewhere around their cards k2so mm. is is uh is is good <laughs> um, i mean like that just shows you the sort of the art style difference yeah like they're yeah. they're similar cards but one is like quite realistic style whereas mm. the zeb card is super cartoony mm. and that's great. I I am a big fan of that. I think that's what's annoyed some people is because they really don't like when it gets weird and wacky. For me, yeah. as someone who likes varying color, like varying styles and art styles, I love that because it just keeps it interesting, keeps it fresh. Yeah. Um, it uh, it with with each of those sets, they almost definitely have nailed down the art for all of those first oh, yeah. sort of thousand cards that first before year. any anything released, and then they've probably got another thousand pieces of art on top they of said that. they've got the first so, they said they've got the first four sets like pretty much locked done. as yeah. to what what there's going to be in those cards uh in those those sets mm. uh and they are like they're in various stages of production up through like set seven so year three or four uh of this game so when this was announced people were skeptical because in the past, Fantasy Flight games haven't had the best track record of <laughs> keeping games alive yeah. for prolonged periods of time. Um, for, for the company for, that coined the term living card game, they do like yeah. to kill card games. Yeah. 
Uh, so pre-pandemic, they had another Star Wars trading card game, but you got like five cards per pack and a, a single and, and dice. dice. It was dice based, wasn't it? Star Wars Destiny, and, was it? Uh, something like that, yeah. yeah. Um, apparently, really good game, but mm. expensive. Expensive to manufacture, expensive to buy, expensive to collect, because there's going to be the same number of cards, but you have to buy so many more packs because you're getting so few per pack. And, and then you're just getting a hunk, a hunk of plastic in everyone. Mm -hmm. um, I think the pandemic pretty much killed that. Uh, the company went through a lot of restructuring around there. A lot of their games moved to different studios. This is the first game that they've come in with a studio built for just this game. Like there is a whole team just for this game. They know that to, to give it the legs, they have to give it full support and everything like that. And so far, they they really are. They're really, really doing well. And people who are sort of big into card games seem to be very pleased. I mean, like I was saying earlier, like using Lorcana as a, a reference point for this, because other than that, we've got the big three, which is Magic, which is like the OG trading card game. That's been around for 30 years. We've got Pokemon, which has been around for 25 years. Yu-Gi-Oh, which has been on this side of the planet for 25 years. Yeah. Um, and so there's so much legacy in all of those. And especially with Kickstarter, uh, there's a new trading card game like once every couple every of week. months. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, which which dies the death immediately because um games like, like this need need a, to be playing. Yeah, A oversaturation of 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 games and B the vast majority of people are playing those big three. Um, yeah. and, and Lorcana coming out a year ago and it hitting the ground, not only running, but sprinting, uh, and, and a year later, it's finally getting into itself and, and the card pool is there to make super interesting games. Um, it sort of opened the door for, for the idea of, of, of a new card game actually like really landing properly. Mm -hmm. Um, Obviously, it needs a theme which is as strong as Disney. And I mean, if you're going to pick one, then Star Wars is a damn good get, right? Well, that's um, it. I think like you, to get people to buy in, like I did. I sort of I bought in before I'd ever played the game. Mm -hmm. um, exactly. And uh, yeah, Star Wars and Disney, um, they are very, very strong themes. Like they're gonna get that audience. Um, I was chatting to a shop just today because i'd ordered something else um and i he was like oh, did you want any more of this and i was like no dude i've spent way too much money the last two weeks like i do not <laughs> need to spend any more money and he's like yeah tell me about it i've done the same like star wars man it will get you and i was like mm -hmm. fucking tell me about it i'm gonna go do a podcast in two hours like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but this is the thing like um knowing that there's that full year means that people are going to happily get in now knowing that there's at least a year's worth of fun to be had yeah. uh, and then on top of that who knows how much because they're clearly not going to be slowing down after that um oh, oh little guy yeah um it's a great little card uh it's cheap cheap unit and hyperfoil mm -hmm. so that's nice and then mm -hmm. i'd also just got my first chopper Hey, um, who is great fun? Uh, so his his ability here is uh, while you can train it, while you control another specter unit, this card gains raid one. So basically, he's got a plus one on his attacks, and then on attack, discard a card from the defending player's deck if it's an event, exhaust a resource that that player controls. So he just comes in and just like fucks with people. He's he's sort of hard to defend against because he's chopper, and that's sort of mm. what he does. Um. <laughs> If you've been paying attention when I've been showing them off, all the Spectre cards are different aspects. So normally it would be a pain to play them all together. Yeah. Hera's ability, her sort of leader ability is to ignore the aspect penalty cost on the Spectre cards. So any Spectre card, basically if Hera's your leader, you want them all in there because you're, you're able to do stuff that you wouldn't normally be able to do in a normal deck. But, and they, yeah, they all kind of buff each other and, and play off each other and um i feel like that is sort of the um the setting of this uh this set is very much like there's sort of three main keywords there's imperial 
Rebel and Spectre are like the three sort of interesting there's, ones. Uh, let's see what else. There's we've a, got. I mean, there's there, there's a few, but those are Underworld. the three that sort of like fundamentally work together. Um, Underworld's quite a big one. I think uh, there's a lot of Underworld cards, but there's not a lot of interaction between those cards in terms of that keyword. Um, force. There's quite a bit with force. Uh, and again, f- um, there's a little bit that mostly there's actions which are cheaper if you have force units. Um, mm. Ooh, that's nice. So, like, um, it's easier to force choke someone if Vader's on the field, <laughs> obviously. And, um, and you, can actually... attach, you, can, you can give a lightsaber to any character, but mm. if it's attached to a force user, it's, it's better. It's better. Force choke might be my favorite card in the set thematically because. Um, really into choking? Firstly, yes. Uh, and secondly, um, basically, it just does a, an absurd amount of damage to something that's not a vehicle obviously uh-huh. um but then it's uh the the thing that takes the damage that player uh draws a card so you can choke your own units in order to draw mm-hmm. cards uh which is so thematically i did that a couple of times in my um pre-release event like i pulled yoda out uh, yoda i pulled vader out they're different people i pulled vader out um Force choked just some goon that I had on the thing. He died, and then I drew a card, and it was just, it felt real, like, just, Thematic. it felt really, yeah, it felt really evil. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, yeah villainy. <laughs> yeah, that's what you want. Um, like, and, and again, like, so much of the, the abilities and things like these cards have, it's, it's, I don't know which came first, the, the ability or the character. Or if it was a mix of both. Like, I'm sure there's a lot of generic cards that have just, we need a card that does X. Let's yeah. put it on an underworld smuggler, like, no name thing. Yeah. So they've got a unique character, like here, Admiral Pier. He's a cheap unit, so you think you want to play him early, but his ability is very much benefits big, expensive capital ships and things like that. So if you play him later in the game, when you're sort of comboing him with, say, a Star Destroyer, yeah, he is much better. For sure. Um, yeah, and there's a nice balance of that across the different uh, aspects as well. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. And then like his... each, each aspect does, I, not necessarily so much in-game feel different, but like mm. when you look at the sort of keywords that they're pulling out and the abilities that they're putting together is that a foil base it is a foil uh, rare base no i haven't um so this is one of the the rare bases so there's like five less health but they've got an ability action on them um Mm. and yeah and you can get foil ones so it looks really nice i like the way that the foiling is behind the this is this is what i was saying earlier yeah this is what i was saying earlier and the reflection off of the the water Mm-hmm. It's it's like through the windows and yeah it's that's really really pretty I really like that that's good stuff um, yeah trading it cards me, it makes me want to play with that base um, <laughs> yeah. have you uh, have you got into uh, when you open a pack just smelling the cards yet are you at that level or are you, no. you still are you still normal <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'm normal do you want me to smell <laughs> this pack? Like- like I know, like Stevie likes the smell of like new books and stuff. New, new yeah, book it's, smell, it's, it's, new book smell, and new action figure smell. When I was a kid, I fucking loved yeah, getting yeah, new action it's, figures. It's new that, action figures like, was great. It's it. Right, like, I'll give it. I'll give it away. I'll give it away. Tra- trading cards are. It's it's. Oh. It's, <laughs> I hope this doesn't smells, awaken something <laughs> in me. <laughs> I don't know. It almost smells like like cigarettes. It's the it's it's. Is it no? It is the cards. Um. Well, I got a I got a hyperspace chewy leader, so that's kind of that's nice, nice looking. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, that was that was from a sniff. <laughs> new toy smell is uh, the best. Absolutely, is yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. New toy smell. Yeah, it really is. Uh, yeah, I feel like Luigi Johnny, you're going to know a lot about the new toy smell. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, what have we got in here? What's a fun card? There we go. There's ah. So I got a Han Solo. Who's, oh, there you go. This is this is the regular Han Solo. This is the unit. So he's okay. th- this is the art that people generally like, and then the leader version of it they don't like. 
Um, and then I got two. I was going to say, I didn't really care for the bamboozled card. I thought mm -hmm. he looked a little oh, bit oh, off, but yeah, I really like this. Dopey, right? Yeah, this, this, this is this great. Is cool. really it reminds like me it. of like, uh, is it Doug? Not Doug Chang. Uh, who did Eon Flux? Uh, Peter oh, Chang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah it reminds not, me of that. Like that, that. Or PF Chang. Really. <laughs> that, that perspective. Yeah. yeah I um, like that. The I, I've either. I, no, I think I've got a foil version of this, which is really nice, but I've seen the hyperspace one where like the laser blast is coming out the side here. It's, yeah, it looks great. Um, and then. Yeah. The Dodana that I've got in my deck over there, I might have to swap out because I just drew two here. And oh. one of them is a foil. So, nice. Yeah. So what decks are you playing? What decks have you got? At the moment, I've been building up a Sabine deck. So Sabine is Sabine's a... the hotness, right? That's the one that everyone's it like... seems to be, though. In like the, the chat from like the local area down here, it seems like everyone is looking to build like a uh, villainy command aggression deck um and okay. the vader leader and uh, not leader the vader like just general unit card is is a legendary card and it seems to be like the one that everyone is going for at the moment it's very expensive um uh, i've got one i've got one in quite an early pack so i'm happy with that but um you can always have three you can have in in a deck of cards uh you can have up to three copies of any card to, yeah. to be able to play with. I think um I think that's one of the fun things about trading cards uh is wherever you're playing it locally, it will develop its own little sort of ecosystem of the decks meta. And, and yeah, the I'm meta. Learning the, I'm I'm learning the key I'm learning the words. <laughs> yeah. Um and and like the way that you guys play down on the coast is gonna be hugely different to how we play up in the in the boonies up here yeah we play that we play that like coastal <laughs> yeah. man um but uh, like you say with uh with the <laughs> four elites. with with um multiple copies of a card in a deck uh, there's also a format of this called twin sons which uh -huh. i haven't tried yet but looks very very good um, so the school that i did my first pre-release at i'm running a twin sons event on the 30th really um if you want to come down i know you're you're down here I'm, the weekend I'm after i might have to steal some birthday. cards I might have to steal yeah some i've cards got plenty you. um, fucking um <laughs> so many. how many packs have you opened so far i can count that because i can count uh, uh hang on well, let me just go through this one because i think i've got a good card in this oh but the, two the, the ralph um, the thing with count, twin out, sons, count out the leaders the, the thing with twin sons is uh it's every card in your deck has to be unique. You can't have duplicates at all. Right. Um, and oh, that's pretty. Yeah, um, nice. Oh, is that so this, is that the only time the Y wings are in this deck? Is there a Y wing card? I don't think I've seen one. Gold leader, not in. No, I don't think he is. Um, I'm sure there's some Y wings in there somewhere. There's got to be. There must, wing be there must be. There's a U wing. Of course, they've got a Y wing card. They must do. Um, <laughs> but I the, don't know. Uh, I feel like you wings the new hot thing, but yeah, yeah. It's true. Uh, you're talking to the guy who used to fly U wings all the time on St uh, Star Wars squadrons. <laughs> yeah, but there's no left in space. There's no left um, in space. Um, but yeah, so Twin Suns, you have two leaders, um, which means you have four aspects potentially. I think uh, it's it's it seems wild, but then you have a, a deck which is all unique cards, so it's like. Are you going to get the card that you want? And there's a, a magic format which is very similar called Commander, which is which lends itself to building very thematic decks. Uh, obviously, we don't have the card pool for this game yet to mm -hmm. really do that. But I I love the idea. Like I oh actually I don't know if I've seen a B wing card yet either. Um, but um, the I've, op I've opened thirteen packs. I'm just opening my fourteenth pack. Nice. Um, the uh, what was I talking about? Thematic, but yeah. I I'm the sort of person that when I when I put a deck together, I, I I don't think about how strong it is or how like um tailored it is to winning games. I like doing stupid little stories with my deck. So like mm -hmm. on my on my pre-release thing, I was running Vader in um Bespin. And, mm -hmm. I, and like my deck was just basically flooding the place with it with stormtroopers because I was like, 
this is him taking this my deck is him taking over um yes my boy <laughs> i got him in foil <laughs> um <laughs> and and uh and i love the idea of of like yeah creating a a twin sons deck where you have two leaders um so maybe you pick cassian and Jin, and you have that mm that deck of them working together in and like maybe your your base is um Jeddah, the the Jedi archives mm. or whatever. Um and yeah, like filling your deck with cards like um there's one which is like a Jeddah um what's the word? Fighting back against the baddies Defense. guy. Yeah, something like that. Um I was gonna know, leave get, you hanging get, on that one. Yeah, get Saul Guerrero in there. Get like oh, okay. um, <clears throat> agitator. I think ben, thick, ben, is it? thick two tubes. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. Like just doing that sort of. So yeah, just like doing it normal as seen in the movies. No yeah, imagination. Playing, <laughs> or, no, just or, playing it like these guys are all part of the Rebel Alliance. I would just want to play Rebel it, Alliance cards. Yeah, or, or 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 doing a thematic deck where it's like my leaders are vader and luke and this is what it would be if they did what would have happened yeah like that yeah. sort of that sort of thing like that's kind of fun it is to see it is fun to see i guess to to use people from the actual movies that are work together to see how it would play out in mm. like this a scenario of the, instead of a lot of the times they've they've made it so that the cards sort of complement each other if they if they can like they they do yeah. work um, yeah yeah uh, and yeah, you guys were talking about the the B wings. Uh, Ian, Ed, no, there there isn't a B wing card in this first set. Not that I've seen anyway. No. Um, I think I would remember. Um, uh, as a fun card. Um, oh, that's that's pretty in hyperspace as well. Yeah, very nice. The hyperspace, oh, just, the hyperspace treatment just makes everything look so nice. It does. <laughs> like, I, I like. I didn't think I was gonna care about like alternate arts or things like that, but like. These, yeah, I really like them. Mm. Uh, that's so that's so oh. yeah. Uh, keep keep naming cards, Ed. You seem to be doing good at like summoning cards out of these <laughs> manifesting, yeah. Showcase, showcase Palpatine, show, showcase Palpatine. That <laughs> dude, the showcase Palpatine card is so it's so beautiful. Showcase the, Sabine is showcase Han. Fuck it. Oh no, because then I'd be tempted to keep him. I'd know I would absolutely yeah, no, sell a showcase need... card if I got it. Okay, uh, something that you want to sell for a showcase. Uh, oh, I'll tell you what. Uh, yeah, or what's the um, showcase Grand Inquisitor? Because I don't really like uh, yeah. the ability, and a car's been going for loads of money. Mm -hmm. no, no, so I've not. noticed much much like the Disney era of Star Wars, I haven't seen any Gungans. Not no, yet. it's it's very, uh, th this set is very much sort of like plus three to minus three BBY, sort of like. That, that there's, sort of, there's the odd okay. there's the odd thing there's the odd thing yeah. here or there that is different um, but like um and there's definitely I mean, like I artwork swear, like why done. why isn't there a single gungan in the disney era like even in the background yeah Roman, true Roman. Roman. It makes but it, no sense. and then it looks like the next set the um shadow shadow of the galaxy i think that's what that it's called, ghost, shadow of the, galaxy. the colors the colors on that ghost remind me of the holiday special cartoon yeah <laughs> yeah um, uh, this is another card that really benefits from hyperspace i think where it's like a real simple background it's just it on a star field when you do it in the hyperspace and the rest of it's all black as yeah. well it, it looks great um yeah i think the next set which is going to be coming out in a few months time that is like sequel era uh mandalorian um like that sort of post yeah. return of the jedi so um, could probably be in there. They, probably, yeah. The, I, they've, they've shown off some art of Kylo and Ray, so they'll yes. they'll be in there, I'm sure. Um, they, I don't think they're the poster kids in the way that Luke and Vader are. No, but, I think that's um, it's Din and Moff Gideon. Yeah, which I think is a really good pull. It makes sense for yeah. like for advertising wise. I'm not bothered, but mm. yeah. And then I, I don't know what the third set is. Um, called at least but i imagine they'll go prequels on that side um yeah Wars prequels. Right. just in the first year of the game being out they should hit each trilogy in some way right like that plan. i think that yeah. would cover because if i don't get b1 cards by the by this time next year i'm 
I'm just gonna shred my collection. <laughs> yeah. I, I, uh, I want an, I want a, a pure separatist twin sun deck where I'm just trying to pull where my leaders are a, a nuke gun ray and uh, Ooh, cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I no, I want I want a Captain Tarpaul's leader card. I want a Captain Tarpaul's showcase. Mm. Oh man. yeah, you yeah, know it's, that they, uh, it's it's pissing me off that they're just completely ignoring Gungans. And I know that Gungans weren't in the original trilogy, but there's some prequel guys that have popped over to the Disney era. Yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. Like uh, it drives me nuts. I mean, George put a Jedi, Doug in yeah. Return of the Jedi. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Uh, they should just be there now in the, the sequel. Um, with um, Ahmed Best was shooting something recently in mocap and like yeah. he tagged Activision in there, so it might be for a game. Um, but why not? While he's in the suit, just get him to film some more stuff. I'm sure he'd happily yeah. do it. Yeah, oh, yeah, for sure. <clears throat> or I'm... Uh, get, mm. So I'm we probably going to the... end up getting a Black Series Jar Jar. I, 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 I feel like I've like really, really become a fan of the character. And I think it's mostly because uh, it's mostly like a joke. Like yeah. people think of him as a joke and I'm so protective of Star Wars that I'm like, no. So I might he's, be like overdoing legit. it. Yeah, But it's just like, I don't know. I kind of like him. He's, so he's I... great. I just of searched... you didn't ask for any of that shit. <laughs> uh, I just searched the name of the third set, which will be in sort of like end of what, year. Eight, eight months, nine months time sort of thing. Um, I think they're, it... they're aiming for three sets a year, and it's like every yeah. three months or something there'll be a new set. Yeah, um, and it's called Twilight of the Republic. So we're getting oh, that. Show... We're, yeah. we're getting that showcase, Grievous. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I feel like. So let's let's try. I feel and like there's so much the there's so much in the Clone Wars series and just the movies to like Ventress really be able to like and, yeah. yeah yeah beef up this stuff. Mm. Who's the dude from the Ted uh, Gendy Tartakovsky Dirge? Was his name Dirge? Oh yeah, Dirge. He's in canon now as well, so they'll definitely use him. Like they brought yeah. him back in some comics recently. So that's the other thing they've said. Like they've got license to do Legends bits and bobs. But for now, makes sense. They're sticking with. Um, Whoa! Canon. Yeah. Can you move so, that closer? That job is like nuts. It's super weird and cool. Let, let me try and gonna... get it to focus. I don't know if it will. Um, That's a crazy design. I really like that design. Maybe, maybe hold it up in front of your face cam and and in bigger. Here, I'll make you see if that. I'll make pops better. There you go. Oh yeah. It's super that's, cool. It's so different. That's crazy artwork. The, mm. yeah. the sort of little flick on the back of the head. Uh huh. That's a uh, great David Nash. That's a great David job. Nash is the artist on that one. Um, yeah, I really like it. I can't. I don't think there's anything else particularly like that. See, that's but, I. Yeah, I think I would much prefer a showcase of different artists than just yeah, a one uniform absolutely. thing. Absolutely. Because yeah. if it's one uniform thing and you don't like that artist, then you're yeah. fucked. You're you might it. as well do. You might as well do a variety. Yeah, I, I, um, think, I think that's right. It's it is nice. Uh, I think as sets go on and there's more like variants in the art, people will start to calm down on the ones that they don't like. Um, it's just where at the moment things like that that Java card, the Han leader card, uh, some of the others, Chewy leader. People really hate that Chewy leader. Um, but uh, I, it, again, I think that's fun. With the it's huge fun. mouth, it's yeah. yeah. It's it's just. Different. No, and no neck, big mouth. As, hey, yeah. there we go. That looks Cassian like dark horse. Hey, um, yeah, totally does. Um, whereas these look like, yeah, it looks like I. This screams to me is like the comic adaptation of Rogue One. That's what that art right. looks like to me. Um, yeah. Whereas others, I, yeah, they're, they're, they're nice. I, it's all, it's all cool. I really like the that. Uh, artwork of the Cassian. If you pull that Cassian back, um, I really Ooh. like it. But I wish he was a little bit slightly to the left of the frame. I feel like it'd be more dynamic because where he is at the moment, it's a mm. little bit awkward. Um, mm-hmm. But that's like the tiniest gripe. That's a. And I feel like that's your that's your filmmaker eye 
coming yeah, in, yeah. I think. Yeah. Because his momentum's um, pushing him that way, and he's yeah. dead uh-huh. center. Might look better in a hyperspace card. Where it blows yeah. up. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Yeah, for sure. Um, um, uh, well, I, I mean, this one because then again, like super, almost like a uh, manga anime sort of style yeah. though, with that one, um, which is cool. It's, it's like do it. Should, like if the card yeah. game's called Unlimited, go nuts with it. Mm-hmm. Um, Big time. You've got some of the key art of different sets and different characters. So you've got the Mandalorian on there. So even within this set, where it's mostly themed around like early in the original trilogy, you'll still get cards that have got kylo ren on them and you'll get some yeah. uh like, like mace windows in there somewhere like you've got i, I showed cards. the one earlier that's got um anakin and obi-wan mm-hmm. hanging out um but yeah i, I this, feel like this feels like the art that i had on a lunchbox in like 1995 <laughs> <laughs> that looks like um, a cover of hero magazine totally um but it's cool it's 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 nice i like seeing different things and then kanan there looks again quite anime uh i think you were about to say it but uh i may have talked past you james mm-hmm. speed predict uh, a leader for each aspect um for the next two sets so the next two sets uh i think that din Djarin will be cunning i think moff yep. gideon will be command yeah i think ray will be vigilance and uh kylo Kylo's will be aggression, be aggression right yeah like do, do we have a, a a a heroism aggression that we could use for sequel era May, maybe i don't think it's finn poe maybe poe maybe poe uh i like the about I, TV shows um, i like the idea of cad bane being a cunning villainy leader do you think oh yeah okay definitely i mean i mean that's the thing with all the leaders they've also got a unit card as well so there is there's going to be multiple mm-hmm. versions of these cards um i, I pulled out devastator there because that's another legendary i've got Ooh. i found quite all right out of this box um that's the most expensive card in like in terms of playing it in the game not, uh, not, i think not resale value is, right is palpatine, 10, 10 resources palpatine? palpatine's eight palpatine's eight oh, okay uh, and and, and I'm not saying that because I'm a the I'm a Vader unit it's because it's literally in front of me. That's the okay. <laughs> How about the Vader not, unit. I just have memorized. Um, Vader. Oh, Vader unit. I don't think is ten. Uh, yeah. My phone is plugged in, but it's saying that it's got twenty percent battery. If this shakes a sec, uh, bear with. Let me plug it yeah, in again. It's all good. Um. I, I, yeah. I, if it dies, it dies. We've been going real long. I've got like four packs left. Hmm. Um, I, I, I like the. I, I mean, it fits that Ray could be vigilance heroism, but I also kind of hope she's not because that's what Luke is, and it feels a little bit mm, too, too same-y. sort of like yeah, samey. I kind of want them de- to get. I suppose it depends on where they go with Ray. Like, I, I, yeah. a, there is a way of making her an aggression card, which would be fun mm-hmm. for sure. Um, um, yeah. And that's actually, yeah, uh, we haven't really touched on that. Um, but each card has Ooh. like a subtitle, so uh, or like the, yeah. the named characters have subtitles. So like, so this is this is, this Pal- is a regular one. Oh, there you go. So Palpatine has uh, Master of the Dark Side, right? Yeah. Um, which means that they can have uh, multiple different Palpatines with different subtitles, and then. You know, you know which one you're referencing. Another legend. <clears throat> um, so we've got so the, the the Cassian leader that we currently have is dedicated to the rebellion. Mm-hmm. Um, is his subtitle, but we could so easily have a, a Cassian where he's like, uh, it would be a unit, not a leader, but like him as a prisoner on whatever Gollum's planet is called. Um. What was that? Oh, what? no, uh, Narkina, Narkina yeah. Five. Yeah, 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 that one. Yeah. Um, it took me a few minutes to figure out what you were saying. <laughs> I was thinking Snoke. <laughs> oh yeah, God yeah, Gollum's everywhere. Uh, actually, I mean, Snoke as a leader could be quite an interesting one, like a cunning dark side. Do you think? Yeah, he could be cunning. Card. He could be command. He could be like, would you like? So I want them to get different. I want them to just go like double uh villainy 
or something like doom mm-hmm. you don't need a leader that has uh, an aspect and a hero ability. like i'd want some that are like double cunning or like mm. that be a way of doing uh, yeah, yeah, things yeah, up. yeah. Because um, when we were talking about the keywords, right? So we've got um, a lot of interplay between rebel cards. We've got a lot of interplay between imperial cards. We've got a lot of interplay between specter cards. But the other keywords that are jumping out, obviously, are force, um, underworld. So I like the idea of the shadows of the galaxy having a fair amount of underworld, which we can get from all the Mando stuff. We can get from all the Ahsoka stuff. Um, and then force grief really Karga. coming. What would oh, where, what sort of Ooh. what aspect would grief cargo be? Um, I think he'd be cunning. I feel like that's the problem with the all the yeah. other stuff is they, you kind of want so to much make of them cunning. all it's cunning. cunning by default, yeah. right? Like, yeah, <clears throat> I also quite like the idea of of uh, IG 11 having... could be vigilance if you go with mm. IG 11 with baby Grogu as like an, an upgrade, then. Uh, yeah yeah um and then having i quite like the idea of of leaders not having at the moment all of them are, have either black or white but having a leader that's like red green for example that's yeah. that's aggression and command innately would be yeah really it, interesting. it allows for more interesting deck building for sure yeah um but then that force keyword having that come into a big play in the fall of the rebellion set mm. or the, the the end of the re- Republic or whatever it was called. What was it called? Fall of the Republic or something. Fall of the like Republic. That. Yeah, that sounds yeah. right. Um yeah. getting a lot of force stuff in there would be wicked. Yeah. Um, yeah, it'd be fun. And droid, get droid keyword. I want a droid keyword, please. Oh, is there not is there not? Uh no, I mean like actually I don't know if there is. I don't no, know. I'm if sure there is. Have any IG, where's IG, where's that chopper gone? IG yeah, uh IG eighty eight is one of his keywords is droid. Sick. So that, that means my more... that my separatist deck is going to pop off. And there's a card for <laughs> uh, I don't know if you've either of you have seen the or Ralph you have one time but probably a while ago there was a Clone Wars episode where there was a Jedi general um, same species as Dex um, mm. who was an absolute prick to the clones and he was like basically sacrificing them and sending them off. Turns out that he was working for Dooku and he was a bad guy and things like that. But yeah. um, he's in this card in this game and people have already said like he's kind of useless at the moment but when you've got clone cards coming in that he can sacrifice cards and that's sort of his thing that's his ability yeah um they've sort of they've they've thought it out that that is going to be his his ability um it's it's things like that so yeah you could have essentially like a droid factory card that just is churning out B yeah. ones all the time. Don't stop it. <laughs> 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 all right, guys. We are down to the final three packs. We've got two Chewies and a Leia. Okay. Um, I'm gonna okay, which Ralph, which one do you think has a showcase in it? Bottom Chewy. Bottom this Chewy. One. I'm gonna go Leia. I'm gonna say Leia's go got a showcase in it. All right. Uh then, and then I'll by default go with this Chewy. So I'll put him yeah. away. Uh let's do Ralph's first. This Ralph, this is your pack. Ooh. Um, I think this game has it's such an exciting place for this game to be at the moment because there's so much uh, room to speculate on what like me and James were just texting that's a great get right off the, off the bat it's nice yeah, um, it's real pretty uh, we were we, we've already been texting each other like just spitballing cards that could be in like a High Republic set and oh, things that'd like be that amazing. Yeah. Um, Geo, you play the card and you win the game yeah, it's, yeah, it's the best game. Ultra, ult, they create a new rarity just for yeah. for just Geo. for Geo, yeah. sexiest card in the game. <laughs> um, but then, oh. like, imagine that Mark and Row leader, the mm-hmm. aggression villainy. I really uh, like that art. The swoop. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah the swoop very, very again. Minimalist, like that. That, that uh-huh. Rodian art. But mm-hmm. just like, the speed with the speed lines on it, like. That in hyperspace, mm, pop. This is what just, I mean. It, the, the, all the art is so dynamic. Like, look, why the, did they, the they didn't have angles. to draw that at that angle. They didn't have no. to draw that at that angle, but it did, and it looks incredible. <laughs> yeah, I like the hyperspace art because it looks like anime lines. Mm. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's exactly what it is. It's yeah. exactly what they're doing with it. Um, oh, that's a nice pack, Ralph. Uh, oh, is, is, it is that from Solo? 
Mud troopers? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. entrenched. Yeah. Uh, so that attaches Great. to a unit, but then it can't attack bases. So it has to just. It's your your guy in the trench. Um, mm-hmm. It's cool. I, I stuck that on some stormtroopers in my pre-release event, and they <laughs> just they just chewed through people. That's I just cool. want to say something. This is a bit of a side. Hey, it's Colonel no, Sanders. Is uh, is uh, over the Holdo maneuver podcast, Mark Vibbers? Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah, I was going to bring this up tomorrow. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to bring it up now. We can bring it up yeah. again tomorrow because I don't know yep. Mark's here, but they've been doing the because Imperial my March god, Madness. there needs to be some, there needs to be a reckoning. <laughs> There's a it's Imperial March Madness, uh, which they're pitting different movies against each other in a in a bracket sort of situation. Oh god, okay, yeah. um. And Solo was beat out by Spaceballs, and I'm very, very, <laughs> very pissed um, off about that. Andor, Andor was beat out by the Mandalorian, and that's just wrong. It's just flat out wrong. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I think I think the solution is we go on the Holdo maneuver pod and <laughs> we just fight. <laughs> we we go the exact opposite of how we are on this show, where we're normally like, yeah, fuck right. it, people like what you like. Or we can we just go over there and we just be <laughs> aggressive, be like. Fuck you, all your opinions are wrong. <laughs> <laughs> or we go through, we do a data link where we go through his back brackets, just me and you. Hey, got, you got it. Whoa, that looks <laughs> nuts. F- flip it, flip it, because you can see it like bigger on the yeah, on the portrait side. That's the card okay. that everyone hates. Yeah. I love I, it. I I it it looks like a weird Mate, put me, put well, me I think one of the things that's I think one of the things that's odd is the lighting. Tap oh, him in, Ronnie. coach. Yeah. One of the things is the lighting. So he's mm-hmm. his face is really light, but his skin looks red. It um, might be it might be the lighting that I've got in the room at the moment. No, it's his. It, no? You could tell that the, his skin color is. Okay. But he also looks like someone that's had a lot of work done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he does. Those mm-hmm. lips. Yeah. And the, the cheekbones, that cheekbone, it's, yeah. If he falls over, he's going to kill someone with that cheekbone. It's it's an interesting, <laughs> it's an interesting design. Oh, the scar is on there though. The scar is on the cheek. Um, it's yeah, it's interesting, and that's why I like it. Um, mm, I'm it's I'm a interesting. Fan. Uh, it feels but, a hey, little... guys, that's that's two of those the three leaders that I don't have that we've pulled. So thanks. Sweet. So it's just um, thrown left, right? Yeah, um, and just. Just these, like they. Mm. This is a base. This will do nothing. <laughs> It'll just sit there and collect damage counters. That's all that d- does for the entire game. Doing it, and it just looks fucking great when you've got it in hyperspace like that. Um, it's very cool. And I've only just realised seeing it in hyperspace that I think that that is from Battlefront Two. Um, I think that's where that planet is. I was trying to. Oh man, it. Battlefront! The Battlefront games are coming to the Switch. Oh, cool! Oh, oh the old um, ones, like the the original. Yeah, they're, ones. they're remastering yeah. the, okay. the original two. Yeah, I, I might have to get that. You got a uh, uh, DJ Death Star. DJ Death Star. DJ Death Star's great. Like yeah. that card. Yeah, I mean, it's just a really it's great so card. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Uh, but oh, that's cool. I like that. Mm. That see that also looks like Eon Flux. Yeah. Like the lines yeah. and the there's yeah. something about it. Yeah. Uh, the oh. That's cool. I like mm, that a lot. I like it. Yeah. Mm, it's really nice. I got it's a, also, I think I've got a hyperspace one of those. It's also uh got no aspect, so it, that can go into any deck for yeah. no no tax. So I um, when I was doing my pre-release, uh because I was sort of you are limited with the amount of cards that you have and the cards that you're pulling. Um, I, I think I had two or three of these in my deck and mm. they saved me in a couple of games because the the sentinel keyword down here basically you've got you've got your space arena and you've got your ground arena ground attacks ground space attacks space but if mm. there's a sentinel they can't attack anything else they have to attack that card they have to um, fight the sentinel yeah so it essentially it protects your base it's a big shield it's a big blocker um, and yeah that, that did wonders for me you got a Jawa, mm. Sweep Racer, Shoot First, which is a great cheap card because yeah. uh, it it protects your your other guys. Uh, and uh, Ed's like, favorite card, the Force. Hey. Um, and then, oh yeah, wow, we got 
two rare bases, guys. Um, so we got Tom. the regular one, and then we got the hyperspace version of the base that I'm yeah. currently running in my Sabine deck. Yeah, people love this. This it's basically strong. lets you. Whoa, look at the look at the light. Look yeah, the, the foil coming through those portals through the windows and stuff portals, like that. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Um, and That's... then there's there's the regular version of it, just for reference. That is mm. cool. Um, <laughs> Definitely not as cool. That's that. No, yeah, I'm gonna lovely. literally swap that out now because that's going <laughs> straight into the game that I'm playing tomorrow. So yeah, um, for for anyone who's going to be watching tomorrow as well, I am going to be literally running from when we finish that podcast uh, to play this again because sort of annoyingly, but sort of nice. Um, the the weekly games here in Southampton are on a Wednesday night and they start at six thirty p.m. So. I can finish the podcast and then go straight to that and make it. And then it's kind of just like my Wednesdays are taken care of. Um, and right, tomorrow guys. the time is the time is weird, right? Right now we're in the weird time. We've got this week and next week are the weird times. So for yeah. the UK, it will still be 5 p.m. Um, but for Russell you, it's 10. Yeah. Um, 10 a.m. It's it's the nicer way this time round. It's it's <laughs> later in the year that it gets shittier. Yeah. Um I would have I would have happily moved it, but I really want to go and play cards. Guys. No, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. We're talking about R2 D2 beneath the dome. It's not oh yeah. It, it's yeah. fine. And then we also have a show coming up on Friday, I think, right? Yep, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm excited back. about Fridays. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Invincible is back, uh, and I cannot wait to talk about it. Right. Uh, so and then also next Tuesday, I should have an episode of Top Ten Tacos out. Sweet. Oh, great. Um, Steve, so yeah, it's, it's a Steve busy week. I had a, basically had a week off of big week off of podcasting last week, and now I've got yeah. like four out in a week. So uh, the <laughs> the um, Star Wars Unlimited night <clears throat> uh, up by me is Tuesdays, so they're doing it right now. Um, ah. But at some point, James, you got to come up. We'll have some. We'll have some Reading tacos. Yeah. Play some. Uh, play some. Unlimited. So me and me and Liz did play this with the starter set of this game, and she's not into like the the card side of it, um, the... like the collecting or buying cards. But she was like, "Yeah, it's a, it's a fun game. Like I'll play the game." So basically, like if I've got a couple of decks that I want to test out, I can just be like, "Here, play with these." Yeah. I'll play with these, and she'll she'll be into it. So that's fun. Uh, no showcases in this box, I'm afraid, guys. Uh, uh, next time, oh, that's cool though. Yeah, it's nice. Um, lots of good cards, lots of legendaries. Very happy with what I got, um, but no showcases. That's fine. You, we don't we don't go in expecting this? a showcase. <clears throat> will you no. purchase another box? I will not. Now that I've I've opened two boxes, um, so uh, that's, a, that's a few cards. That's a few wait cards. For next, um, wait for the next. I will one wait. To come I'll wait for the so next. Would you go? Will, would you go I'll online buy... and get a Thrawn or check? I'll your... get. I'll get a Thrawn if I want a Thrawn. Uh, it won't be immediate. Um, but... I mean, for completionist's sake, you can have mine. Oh, cool. I mean, only. If, uh, I mean, we'll see if you get another. Um, we got five legendaries out of that box, though. That's really good. Like, that is good. Yeah. I don't know what the it's odds three. Are, but we three, got... I think, is the average in a box. Three there legendaries. So we got black uh, one. We got the Avenger. So twenty. We got a foil force lightning, which is amazing. Mm, that's uh, cool. We got Devastator, and we got Boba Fett. So really good. Good mix of cards. I'm very happy with that. And the. Uh... And three hyperfoils and a oh. foil base as well. Um, nice. Yeah. Solid, solid box, guys. That's Thank you awesome. Very much. That's really good. Nice. Um, I mean, let's let's just do this. I can show you the fucking stack of cards that we just opened up. That <laughs> 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 like hand for hand for scale. We we need a lime. Anyone who's yeah, a lime for hey. scale. Uh, um, you you just opened three times as many cards as I owned. Wow! Because I nice. have my six uh, from pre-release, uh, and uh, and then a, an extra uh, booster on top of that. Because it's really difficult to get uh, 
packs and stuff up this way at the moment. Well, I think I think I'm, it's it's eased up now, but over okay. the weekend there was a big delay on stuff shipping out. So I I had uh, an order for some other sleeves and stuff because I, I I needed some sleeves um, for the cards that I'm playing with, and it seems like cards are readily available from suppliers, mm -hmm. but it's whether or not stores ordered enough in. So they yeah. they can get them. It's just they haven't got them at the moment. Um, like it's just a case of waiting for their deliveries to come in. Um, sure. But for accessories piece. and like the game mats and all the rest of that gubs, uh, like the mm. token sets, the premium tokens, all of that is in such high demand because I feel like people sort of played the game, went, fuck, okay, I'm in. I, this is something I want to play. Mm. I'm going to just get all the stuff, all the, the accessories. So that stuff's all out of stock. The accoutrement. And, yeah, it's looking like May, I think, is the, the standard yeah. restock time. Um, so, you know, in time for the second set. Nice. Um, I Yeah, I, I don't have anything else to say about it. I, I'm i really into the game. I'm really liking it. If it's something that you are interested in, I do really suggest you go check out your like local gaming store. Um, support them. Don't bother buying it from a big place. Uh, FFG have said that they are sending stock to small independent stores first and foremost, and then nice. excess will be going to like Amazon or yeah. major retailers. Even one of the big uh, online board game retailers over here, I cancelled an order from and went with more independent places because they weren't supporting the big store, the big online stores. They were going with the smaller people first as a priority, which is great because um, they're the people that are hosting games. And that's that's what you want. You want to build a community around it. So, yeah, if you're interested in the game, go and check it out. I highly recommend it. It is a lot of fun. And as you saw, just opening cards is a lot of fun. It's how they get you, man. It's how they get you. Yeah, yeah. Um, but that's it. Like, if I need cards to fill out a decks and stuff now, I'll just buy singles, I think. Um, I'll buy... When when the prices calm down, I'll get, I'll get decent cards. Um... But I don't think I need much more. I think there's only a couple maybe that I need to fill out my Sabine deck to how I want it. And then and then nice. through playing it, I'll tweak it. <clears throat> for sure. Um, Ed, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. It's this always a pleasure. About 45 minutes longer than I was expecting it to. <laughs> uh, I was expecting it to be a shorter episode. It ended up being one of our longest ever. Um I think we called this a mini episode, which is a lie. The the yeah, the mini the whole thing with a between a mini and a bonus is a mini episode's usually when it's just one of us. Oh uh, yeah. Mm. yeah. And a bonus is both of us. Mm. So I, I think I will on the artwork, of course it's me. So I'll change the artwork to say bonus on YouTube um, and then I'll change yeah. the leverage and all that stuff. And I'll, uh -huh. you know, yeah, whatever. Take care of that later. <laughs> but yeah, we'll be here tomorrow. Yeah, we'll be back tomorrow, um, 5 p.m. UK time, uh, 10 a.m. West Coast. Yeah. Um, Ed, I don't know what they're talking about in like just the the slightly less south of south of England. I think you're still on the same time as me. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you're only like an hour away from me, so it'd be weird if you're in a different time zone. It happens. Um, yeah, yeah. Europe's stupid. T um, time zones are dumb. Yeah. Time zones are well. Yeah. yeah, daylight saving is dumb. Mm. Yeah, big time. Um, but yeah, we'll be back uh, tomorrow with Live Action Star Wars, Friday with Invincipod, Tuesday with Top 10 Tacos, and Ralph, you got anything else No this Wednesday. Week? No, the Wednesday. No, no, no Wednesday. No Wednesday. Friday 5? I don't know. It, I've been. It's been. It's been slowing down on the Friday fives for my Patreon. Uh, if anybody is on my Patreon and on the Discord, which is very rare, um, it's, give me prompts. There you of, go. Cool. Where right. I say five of my favorite things. So I mean, Ed, is there anything you have the burning desire to know what they're my five of my favorite blank is? Oh boy. Um... Like well, I haven't done tacos. <clears throat> I mean, ta but tacos is a pretty I don't want to. I don't want to do. I do not want to do tacos. What it's sort too, of? Uh, there's too. It's too tough. Hit me with some examples of, uh, of of stuff that you've you've covered. You should do movies I, of movies of last year was the latest episode. Yeah, I did a list of my five. I did a list of my five favorite scores. I did scores from the seventies, which included stuff That's like I didn't say Star Wars, even though it should be in there. But I did do like Taxi Driver and 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 like like I don't know. 
probably like Logan's Run, uh, but it's literally anything. So like if nobody said, hey, Ralph, what's your favorite uh, Star Wars action figures? What's your favorite uh, lightsaber hilts? What's your favorite non-Star Wars things? <laughs> like what's your favorite like, you know? Uh, oh, you've got is my is my thumbs up? No, it's mine. It's because yeah, it's 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 I want to do one too. Hey, oh. <laughs> uh, okay, you've got <laughs> you could, whoa, <laughs> um, you've got a whole bunch of vinyl, right? I do have a whole bunch of vinyl, just, um, just a little bit. Then let's go for um your favorite, your your top five from your collection, uh, like vinyl. Not the albums, but like the way they're packaged, the accoutrement that's in the 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 artwork, the artwork, artwork. the the um, the fold, any like pictures, stuff like that. Yeah, that's a good one. Top five like that it. you have. I like it. I think I could do that. Nice, yeah. sweet. I think I could do that. Yeah, I, I think I. Well, I can think of one that I know you've got already off the top of your head that I've, I've seen pictures of that I would put on that list already. Um, oh, do you want to? I mean, you can let me know. <laughs> I mean, you're, you're the the kaiju box set, like the Toho box set, is cool. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Ooh, yeah. incredible. That thing that's, is amazing. That's a that's a that's a good thing to say before we close this up. How do you feel about Godzilla officially being an Oscar winning franchise? <laughs> so good. Uh, I was. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I'm glad that it won. <laughs> it's. I'm glad it won. I'm really, really glad it won. I was kind of rooting for the creator because I want that to be an example for other movies mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. on what how things could be done. We, me and Ed went to see the creator together, yeah. and I, I fucking love that film. I, I think the those budget, the an eighty million dollar budget, mm. is bonkers. Nonsense. Yeah. Uh, and if yeah. you watch, if you if you get a chance, uh, 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 I don't know if any of you guys watched the Corridor Crew. Um, it's oh, uh, Carter it's, Digital, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, they yeah, did, yeah, uh, yeah, they had Gareth Edwards on, um, to talk about the creator and and his three other movies that he's done, which are Monsters, Rogue One, and oh, Godzilla. Mm -hmm. Um, and I'm excited for his Jurassic Park. I, I'm, I, I hear it's going to be like a complete, like, nothing else matters. It's well, Ed is the only to... person on earth that likes Fallen Kingdom. Uh, I haven't I, seen it. I have to because it's on my IMDb page. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I legally have to. But also, I, I, I'm a big defender of it. I think it's fun. It's a haunted house movie at the end, and that's great. Right. Yeah. I haven't watched it. I haven't watched the last two, but I'm, I'm excited for it. Um, anyway, I'm excited. I'm I, excited I was rooting. I was rooting yeah. for the creator just because. Yeah, it's absurd. The what it is what it means. <laughs> yeah because so there's the guy who there's yeah. the guy who, who who won for was it screenplay or adapted screenplay um was mentioning like you know uh, uh the film industry is about taking risks and a 200 million dollar is a big risk why not make you know five yeah ten million dollars or whatever he was saying mm -hmm. like for me that was the creator the creator was just an insane looking movie you don't have to like, love it. Like you don't have to love the story or anything like that, but like you have to appreciate what it, 80 million? Yeah. 80 million to make a movie look like that? Yeah. yeah. Like come on. <laughs> come on. Like yeah. we need more of that. Like like take a chance on non-IP. Okay. Uh, I I'm, I'm just happy that Oppenheimer shot himself in the foot and said that they didn't do any visual effects in their marketing because if they hadn't said that then it would have just hoovered up another one with visual effects. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. liked Oppenheimer. Yeah. I was fine with it, winning. But, but I mean, Godzilla was great. The, yeah, Godzilla was great. Um, the effects were great. Mm -hmm. It's just, and they're also working. The 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 director was also the visual effects director, so that's yeah. good too. Like it was mm -hmm. still a smaller house, but I feel like, I mean, mm. something about Gareth creator was doing something like, different. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, but hey, he doesn't need it. He's got uh, a Jurassic Park franchise movie. Yeah. Great. Now. I'm excited for it. I, I haven't been also, this excited I'm for sorry. Jurassic Park ever. Wow. Yeah. Because um, <laughs> the original, the original, I waited like 
some like six weeks before I finally saw it. I was like, yeah, it's great. That's you know, it's a cool movie. Yeah, yeah. I'm not uh, the biggest Jurassic Park fan, but now yeah. I'm like Gareth Edwards with his handheld cameras with dinosaurs. Like, yeah, it's me. Yeah, man does scale like no one else. Uh huh. Um, and then yeah. if this basically, I'm just glad because like after. Rogue One, he went away for a bit. He went and came back and he's done his own thing with Creator. It wasn't the most loved film. A lot of people shit on it. Um, but, okay, that's still good. Studios still trust him to be, like, a safe hand. If that's all they've cast... Uh, like, it's if they've all they've gone for it's like... Yeah, okay. but if that's all they've gone for him is to be, like, a quote-unquote safe hand, then great, because you know he's still going to do something different, because look at Godzilla. Look at Rogue One. Like, there is still a lot of him in there. And then yeah. if he gets off of the back of that, whether whatever happens with Jurassic Park, he seems like someone who will go and go, cool, now it's my one. Now I'm going to go do my one. And if it allows him to do another creator type thing, yeah. awesome. Yeah. He, 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 it's, it's just shows the studio like, oh man, this guy's doing this on the cheap. Maybe we can make a Jurassic Park movie that's not. You know. Doesn't cost two hundred and fifty million dollars. Yeah, we can do it right. for a hundred or eighty or whatever. Like, and he can make it look like three hundred. Let's make it. I want it to be aliens. The yeah. movie Aliens. Yeah. Like, just send in, just send in space marines with like the girl who played uh, uh, Lex or something. Hell uh, yeah! Up, oh. and she's the only one that can go back to the to the island where it's just rampant with dinosaurs oh. because there was a group of scientists. That, I know this sounds like Jurassic Park 3, but there is a group of scientists that went missing. We need to go check on it. Let's have the girl who was there originally be oh. Ripley and just just make aliens and and you can do that off i didn't i i got 10 minutes into the the last world and was like nope i'm out um so i don't know what the plot of that is but like if it feels like that's the sort of thing that you could still do continuing it on from that you don't need to like negate those those movies you just don't need yeah. to really do much with them. one of the fun things about the original jurassic park that i liked a lot at the time in 1993 um they were really pushing tech like was it is it uh michael creighton yeah um, yeah yeah i love creighton they, like, they, like pushing perfect tech. airplane novel like like yeah. they did like internet and the computer and all that stuff um whereas was all like fresh and if anybody can shoot tech yeah <laughs> uh, it's gareth edwards maybe neil mm. blomkamp but like gareth edwards is making good movies um yeah, 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 yeah. that's the difference <laughs> but, but like i mean i, I mean listen AI and robots, get them. Get, I want a bishop type character in this in in Gareth Edwards movie. I would like to see a robot versus a dinosaur. I mean, cool. I feel like our technology is to the point where we're doing that with Boston Dynamics. Let's mm. let's get Boston, a let's get like, a robot have, in there. Have yeah. uh, an InGen or whatever the new company is basically be Boston Dynamics, and then you've got you've got a, a robot or a, a mech suit or something in there. Fuck it. Yeah. It's gonna, it's gonna... They're using robot. There, it's the the park is overrun. It's a complete ecosystem. There's nobody on in there now, and they're using uh, robots to Clear they fully out. automated the the facility of Jurassic Park to maintain it. Uh -huh. But maybe the robots are bad now, and maybe I just want robots and dinosaurs. And then that's when you have to send in the marine best. team to clear it out. But meanwhile, you've got yeah. robots fighting dinosaurs, fighting humans, and. I can totally. It's, it's tell AV, that AVP, nobody's but watching this. <laughs> <laughs> nobody in the comment section has put any input on robots versus dinosaurs, which they're all just they're, shaking their heads, going, gone. "Fuck you guys!" Like just, no, we're still gone. here. We just listening. left our computers on. We're all at work. Uh, I'm hungry, so guys, I'm gonna go. I, know, I gotta eat wanna, lunch. I want to eat some dinner. Um, all right, take yeah. off. All have right, fun. guys. Uh, Ralph, Thank I'll you. see you tomorrow. Ralph, I'll speak. Yeah, to, uh, Ed, I'll speak to you soon. Yeah. A pleasure. Uh, I, will, I will talk yeah. to you very soon. Uh, yeah. Don't give it to hate. Celebrate the love. Say the line, uh, bye. <laughs> I went too soon. <laughs> That's what she said. Uh, uh, I'm going to say um, uh, Jetta oh. Agitator. <laughs>